God's Empowering for Patient Mothering by Kathy Collard Miller Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 Darcy, stop screaming! I screamed. You'll wake up the baby! My toddler daughter continued jumping up and down in a temper tantrum, demanding another cookie. I grabbed her shoulders and shook her, her head wobbling back and forth. Her face turned into a terrified grimace. After pushing her down onto the kitchen carpet, I stomped down the hall to my bedroom. Tears streamed down my cheeks as I prayed. Oh God, help me. Deliver me from my abusive anger. I don't think I can take it much longer. I'm afraid I'm going to kill her in my next rage. Those were the cries of desperation over 40 years ago, which destroyed my hope that God was powerful enough to help me. But over time, he revealed the underlying reasons for my anger and empowered me to take control of my anger and become a patient mom. At times, we wonder how God will provide his power for our particular challenge. Here are four ways God shows us his power. Through his word, God demonstrates his power as he reveals truth to counteract the lies we believe. I believed all anger was sinful and I shouldn't feel any frustration. When God directed me to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26, I could see the truth. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. This verse convinced me God wanted to supply the power to deal with my anger instead of burying it. Through fellowship. Though deeply ashamed, God gave me the powerful courage to ask prayer and accountability from the women in the neighborhood Bible study I led. James chapter 5 verse 16 commands us, Therefore, Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Through Exposure Once I shared with that small group, I shared with many others, even though I risked rejection and judgment. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 20 urges us, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. The more I shared, the more powerfully God conquered the anger patterns within me. Through recognizing perfectionism, my demand that God give me an instantaneous deliverance revealed my perfectionistic thinking. I couldn't believe God was being powerful unless all my sinful habits were gone. But Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 revealed the truth. And I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ Jesus. By accepting God was working even though change was over a period of time, I came to have hope in God's power. Little by little, I became more patient and loving. Now, years later, as I see my daughter love her family well, I'm amazed that God's power, which healed our family and developed ministry from disaster, he truly is powerful. Does it seem like God is not powerful enough for whatever you are going through right now? What is feeding the lies that God doesn't want to help you? 
may be your past experiences or lack of reading your Bible? Are the discouraging words of others creating doubt? Fight back with biblical truth.